Hey gang, Tony here for kind of a late one. Uh, the mail just came. I don't know. Right now it's about 5.30 my time. Mail usually comes closer to like 1 o'clock, so I think it had something to do with probably Columbus Day that they got here late. Um, but the mail came and I found a loot crate in my box. So I haven't had one of these in quite a while. I only got one other loot crate ever before. Um, this box is worrying me a little bit. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head too many things that could fit in a box like this besides like a shirt and books. So maybe a mask, I don't know. But um, really the only reason I got this is because it's an October thing and I subscribed to a number of different October boxes for, you know, the Halloween season. And um, this is the first to come. So I, I, was, I was surprised. I didn't expect it to come. I was busy with other stuff. Working on those new magnets that are coming out tomorrow. Remember? Remember the big deluxe magnets lasting for Halloween coming out tomorrow? Yeah. All right. I have for this video Boxcar Pumpkin Porter, which I've been told is neither a porter nor a pumpkin ale, which kind of worries me a little bit, but hey, I already had it in my fridge, so I figured now is good good as time as any to give it a shot. I do like darker beers, as I've said previously, so whether or not it's very pumpkin-y, which it doesn't really smell very pumpkin-y. I had one other pumpkin porter that I didn't think really shined in the spice or pumpkin area, but was still a decent beer. Um, it's really dark in here. I'm sorry if the light is awful right now for the video, but um, mm. yeah, I would agree that it doesn't really taste much like a pumpkin ale at all. Um, this is Box Car Pumpkin Porter Star Hill. Uh, it's not a bad beer though. You know, I've had worse beers for sure. So, mm hmm, serviceable serviceable. Today I'm opening my box with my Halloween case knife. I don't know if I've ever show, showed the video, um, showed this on video, but it's a pretty cool case knife. I collect case knives. My dad buys them for me and my brother on during the holidays. So I usually don't use them, but this one had been unboxed, like out of the box and used already. So I figure it's okay for me to use. I'm just gonna get into the box. How about that? Uh, I think I'm gonna go, it's been a long time since I had a subscription box to unbox. And I think I'm gonna do this like Johnny Tellez style cause I, I sort of like that. I like like not looking into the box right away. So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna open the lid. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. It was upside down. It's pretty good, huh? All right. Let's see what's going on here. Right, you guys ready for this? First October subscription box of the year. There's a t-shirt. Should I save the t-shirt or take that? I'm gonna take out the t-shirt. What do we got? I'm hoping for something good. I haven't gotten any horror shirts this whole month. So I need something. I need something. Oh, God. Come on guys. What is this? What? What? This is totally a skull made out of cats. This is a skull. A skull made out of cats. And, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be like all picky about this or anything, but it's a really thin shirt. I mean, look, I could see right through that shirt. I could see right through it. All right, well, I don't know how I feel about this. I do like cats. I mean, I have a cat and I've had cats pretty much my entire life, at least, only ever like one at a time, not like a cat person or like cat lady kind of thing, but um, I'm just not sure how I feel about a, is there like an inside joke with this? Is this a thing that I'm not aware of? Nah, nah alright, I'll wear it to sleep. <laughs> alright, oh, let's see what else they got in there, they, they have to redeem themselves from the cat skull. What do we got here? Yeah. This feels like a book. I don't know why I'm making a face. I like books. I'm a writer. I write horror. 
So if this is a good horror book, I will be very happy. What is it? How to survive a, shark a Sharknado. How to survive a Sharknado. Released by Sci-Fi. It, it had to be released by Sci-Fi, I guess, since Sci-Fi Channel is who put out the uh, Sharknado movie. What? I don't like the movie, okay? I don't... I don't like it. It's not a good movie. And it's not good in a B-movie way, either, for me. I, like, I like Troll 2. You know, that's an awful movie. That's just a lot of fun. I tried watching Sharknado, and it was painful. I didn't... I, okay, I've never watched it all the way through. So sue me. Do I have to now because of this? How did they put out a book so quickly? Did this movie just come out like a year? Ugh. Loot Crate. Oh, Loot Crate. Okay. Alright, that's two down. I'm not very happy right now. Can you tell? See, I think the problem is that I went with... This is more of a geek box usually, I think, the Loot Crate. And I went into it because it's uh, October. And it, I think... I forget what the, what the theme was, but it was something... Fear. Wasn't it fear? I think. I figured, oh, it'll be good. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? Alright. Okay. I I'm hoping that this means that there's something 3D in the box, because if there's nothing 3D in the box, then I don't understand the glasses. I just, I don't get it. How do I look? Pretty good? Do I look like Marty McFly? I don't know why I said Marty McFly. Does he wear 3D glasses ever in the movie? I feel like he, maybe I'm thinking of uh, Jaws 3D or something. I, I don't know. All right, I have to take these off now because my eyes are bugging out. Oh! Ah! Okay, I'm okay. All right, so 3D glasses for some reason. Let's find out why. I hope. All right, what's this? What's this? This is a... This is a, um, here, let me show you. It, it looks as though it's some kind of post, like a, like an art thing. It's, it's sealed on cardboard, so I'm, I'm not sure, like, I guess this is, it's art. It's art, uh, which I suppose you should frame. And it's a Walking Dead thing that says, oh, brother. And, uh, I guess that's, uh, Merle and Daryl. Right there. Yeah, that's Merle and Daryl from The Walking Dead. That's kind of neat. I could get behind that. I could get behind that. I'm a Walking Dead fan. I'm not really, like, you know, crazy about you know, going to conventions and meeting them and, and, like, buying the stuff or anything like that. But I do like the show a lot. So that's pretty neat. I could dig it. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? That calls for more beer. Mm-hmm. All right, what else? Toxic waste candy. Got some toxic waste candy. This might be the best thing in the box so far. What else? What else? Is it a but got a button? Got a little button? It says, Loot Crate, October 2014. Fear. So I was right. Fear is the theme. And, um, looks like some zombies and stuff on there. It's got an orange around the edge. I could get behind that too. I like, I like that. I know they do the pin in every box or something, but it's cool. It's cool. I can dig it. Uh, loot crate slashes and bites. This seems like a popular type of thing to put in October boxes. I got one last year in Box of Dread. I saw that the horror block gave out something like this in their September box. I actually used them last year for my costume when, when I got them in the Box of Dread. I used them. So, you know, I mean, it's interesting to me that they're branded Loot Crate. So, they made these? Alright. What else? I feel paper, more paper. Um, what is this? Curse, enjoy the game. Curse voice. Uh, this is fast and free voice communication for gamers. 
get the most out of Smite with Curse Voice. Teamwork without the work. Download at CurseVoice.com. Battleground of the Gods. Emit or Smite. Unlock Thanatos and exclusive Jack the Ripper skin. And there's a code there. I'm not going to show the code, obviously. Um, I honestly, even after reading all that, still don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> it's something with a video game. Online video game, I guess. You get free skin of some kind or something. Oh, uh, Ooh, okay, all right, good. The 3D glasses are for the Loot Crate magazine. And I gotta admit, that looks pretty neat. Ro uh, exclusive Robert Kirkman interview inside. They got a whole zombie thing going on. Um, I wanna look at it. I think, I think this looks like it'd be pretty sweet. Oh, I love the 3D stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. I forgot that they did these little magazines. So you get the 3D glasses for the magazine. I could, I could enjoy that. I think I'm, I'm not gonna look at it in totality right now. But I will show you that there are more 3D elements in the magazine too. So it's not just the cover, which is nice. Um, they could have easily just been like, okay, you know, we're done. We did the cover. Um, Although, now that I'm looking through, it looks like there's only that one other 3D element in the middle, but still, it's cool. And, um, oh, no, there's a couple more things in here. There's actually a lot of stuff in this box. Um, so, that's neat. It, it at first seemed like it wasn't going to be a lot there. Oh, nice. Very cool. It's a Walking Dead comic, which is sealed with a backing board, and it's a Loot Crate. I want to say Loot Crate exclusive because there's Loot Crate on the on the shirt. Um, yeah, it says Loot Crate exclusive on there. Very cool. All right, I could, I have, I don't buy the comics, but I do buy the, 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 um, the books, the Walking Dead book. So like once they compile however many issues, I buy the books, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I have like 10 or 11 of the books, so I do read the comic, I do really dig the comic, and this, I like a lot, alright, so, best item, along with this, I, I like that, and um, the 3D glasses with the magazine is a nice touch, yeah, I don't, I want to read it, but I don't want to open it, I want to read it, but I don't want to open it. <laughs> oh, what do I do, guys? What do I do? All right. There's one more item in here, believe it or not. And it feels like a, a box or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dead Rising 3. Loot Crate exclusive. Capcom. It's a little box. Looks like a little, uh, a little, like, Foot Locker, sort of. It's taped shut. Ooh, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited about this. They're redeeming themselves a little bit here on the on the uh, back end. What do we got? Oh. What? Look at that. It's a friggin' sledgehammer saw. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. I... Wow. That... <laughs> uh, rendered speechless. Rendered speechless. I, um... I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I've played, I've played Dead Rising before. So I do know that, um... I think I haven't played the, the newer ones, but I know that you could put, like, make your own weapons and put all these things together, make, like, these cobbled together weapons and stuff, so I assume that's where that comes in. I'm wondering if everyone got the same weapon or not. That's pretty freaking cool. I would have liked, like, an actual figure, but this is neat, too. And I really like the box, the packaging for this, and, the, like, the Foot Locker with all the blood and everything on it, and stickers and grates and, and whatnot. Whoa! Okay, I'm, alright, I'm pretty happy now. It, it was in, like, foam. Yeah. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Let me just double check here. Oh, look at that. I got to show you guys this. The inside of the box is pretty sweet, too. Look at that. Got a whole, like, uh, zombie kind of thing going on. I guess Dead Rising, that would be a Dead Rising type thing. Or Walking Dead, I guess. <laughs> nice. All right, man. I got to admit, started off slow, so let's do a little quick recap. Started off kind of weak with a with a kitten skull shirt that I don't really like that much, but I'll totally wear anyway. And then followed that up directly with a How to Survive a Sharknado book, which I'm really not interested in. Then we got the magazine with the 3D glasses, which I will put in pretty cool column. And we got this game code that I'm not sure I'm ever going to use. We got a piece of candy. Piece of candy. And the button. And the tattoos. And then we get into really cool territory with the Walking Dead art. The exclusive Walking Dead comic. And the exclusive Dead Rising uh, weapon figure. So I really like the second half of that box, and the first half is serviceable. Awesome. All right, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I'm wondering what you guys thought. Can't wait to watch some of your other unboxings. I'm going to call that quits, and I'll see you guys soon. Happy Halloween. I'm drinking some pumpkin beer. Are you going to drink it? Are you going to drink that beer? Here we go. I'm going to drink it. Here you go.